It's the same walk Mark Bradford takes every day, but one September morning changed his life forever when he collapsed in sudden cardiac arrest. Next thing I remember is waking up in the uh, um, heart unit. Mark is alive today thanks to a new protocol being tested in collaboration with the Columbus Division of Fire and the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. It's initiated by first responders when they're unable to shock a patient's heart back into rhythm. This will be an echo patient. That alert sets off a carefully planned chain of events that keeps a patient alive until their heart function can be restored. While medics connect a patient to an automated CPR machine in the ambulance, a team assembles at the hospital to prepare the cath lab. Upon arrival, the patient bypasses the emergency room. Getting people directly to the cath lab is critically important because the more time we wait, the more damage is done to the heart, the more damage is done to all of your organs, including your brain. They're immediately connected to an ECMO machine that does the job of their heart and lungs. So we can rest the heart in the lungs and then work, in this case, work on the heart to try to get it restarted and beating well. This seamless process from the field to the cath lab gives doctors a chance to fix what caused the cardiac arrest, a chance they didn't have before. So far, early results have already increased survival rates from zero to about 40 percent. Patients have a chance to walk out of a hospital with neurological recovery, having a meaningful life when essentially they would have been pronounced dead on the field. Mark was the first patient here to benefit from the protocol, and he's thankful that he was in the right place at the right time. Without that protocol, I, I wouldn't be alive. It saved his life, and it can save many people's lives. At the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.